Climate Protectors Initiative Workshop. In the framework of COP27, which will be held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, in November 2022. The Arab Academy for Science and Technology and Maritime Transport, in collaboration with Climotopia and Nahdat al Mahrousa Associations, organized the Climate Protectors Initiative on 27 and 28 February 2022 at its main campus in Abu Qir, Alexandria, Egypt. Admitting the importance to reinforce local communities towards climate action to increase their resilience and adaptation to climate change, the initiative event aimed at raising awareness of youth to be involved in taking active roles within their local communities. Also guide them to practice skills for reducing carbon footprint in their daily lives, changing habits and making better material usability choices. This went by explaining how future careers and the economy are based on finding solutions today against the climate crisis. Finally, participants were given the space and help to develop ideas and projects that support and enhance the adaptation and resilience of local communities to climate change. Climate change is more than just one of the 17 SDGs specified in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Climate change is already producing negative impacts on natural and human systems, seriously impeding progress towards some SDGs 6. Clean water and sanitation 7. Affordable and clean energy and 15. Life on land The workshop's training program included many theoretical parts and practical applications supported by presentations and use of training tools and by the guide of SDG 6, Clean Water and Sanitation, 7, Affordable and Clean Energy, 13, Climate Action, and 15, Life on Land, the most important knowledge transferred to attendees was the importance of climate change, how to present an idea with cost calculation, exposure to real experience in the field of climate change, how new technologies are used in agriculture, like horizontal farming, worms that can turn garbage into composite, possibility of farming in the gravel, how plowing is not good for agriculture as past thought, learning new terminologies like biodiversity and climate justice, and exposure to many environmental issues. To make sure such knowledge is well transferred to attendees, the workshop activities were designed to teach them skills like team leadership, working under the pressure of short time deadlines, communication, and social skills. Also, the program was executed without printing any material to reduce the waste, setting an example for everyone on campus. The workshop attendees formed 12 teams. They received information and training by presenting several knowledge in a simple form, relying on the interaction between students, trainers, and the virtual world. Each team later worked on developing an idea or project that is designed to help reinforce local communities towards climate action. The top five winning teams were, in first place, Team Ahl Recycling Machine. In second place, Team TW. In third place, Team O2Go. In fourth place, Team Sensor Me. And in fifth place, Team CO2.